Hey everyone, welcome back to Grace Note Forge. So today I'm going to be casting and finishing up the lion head shield ring project that I've been working on. And last time I showed the results of the test print of the lion. And this was done using the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K with some castable resin. This was my first experience with using this printer. Uh, but I just wanted to give it a good field test to kind of see what kind of detail I can get when casting. So I'm going to be testing some better quality resin in the future, uh, but for now I'm just going to be using this Soraya Tech Purple Cast Resin, uh, just because it's what I have on hand. So I did a few calibration prints beforehand just to make sure my settings were going to be good, and then I printed the lion head itself. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the results. Um, I'm coming over from a 2K resolution 3D printer, uh, which actually served me really well for what I was working on, but I'm gonna be trying to get into more detailed castings, so this is definitely a step up. And you can see, even under the microscope, those layer lines are barely noticeable, so I'm really curious to see for myself just how well this detail will translate when cast in metal. I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife to remove some of these supports and then break off that thicker sprue using some snips. So as I've shown before with this resin, one of the quirks is that it needs to be submerged in glycerin while it's curing. And with smaller prints like this, I just find it easier to drill a hole through the sprue. That way it can be mounted on this little homemade rack that I have. So you can see that I am doing a few other castings as well. And I just cured them for about 10 minutes under UV light uh, before rinsing them off in warm water. So now I'm just going to attach these prints to the sprue base to get them ready for casting. And I'm going to be going with your guys' recommendation of doing the ring in silver and the lion head in bronze, which I think will look really cool in the end. And for the wax ring, I'm going to attach a sprue right over here on the curved side. Uh, instead of the head of the ring, just because I think it's going to be easier to remove and clean up. And it's also just a little bit thicker in this section too, which is normally a good rule of thumb for where to attach your sprue. And with these good to go, I went ahead and invested them in some SC20 R&R jewelry investment and put them in the kiln for a five hour burnout cycle, uh, ramping up to 1350 degrees Fahrenheit before dropping down to casting temperature of 1000 degrees. So the silver was melted just using some map gas and the bronze was melted using the electric furnace. Now, the bronze was cast at around 1900 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe, which is probably just a little too low for these kind of prints. So that's going to be something to keep in mind for next time. But here are the raw castings, and you can see the silver ring turned out pretty nice, uh, just with a few slight surface imperfections from some bubbles in the investment. Uh, but those can be easily cleaned up. And here are the bronze castings done with the castable resin. And you can see the lion head turned out really nice. So now I'm just going to saw them off using a jeweler saw and get them cleaned up a bit.
Now I can get these sprue marks and imperfections cleaned up a bit with a file and some sanding abrasives. And for the back of the lion head, I want this area to be really nice and flat to give me a good surface for soldering to the head of the ring. So soldering was actually really tricky for me. Uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of soldering small pieces like this, and I think it probably should have used something like a wire to hold the head in place, uh, just because lining it up by eye was pretty difficult. So after soldering, the ring was cleaned up a bit with some pickling solution and then dipped in some diluted liver of sulfur to darken the finish of the ring. And hopefully this will help to make those details pop just a bit more. Then I just polished up the silver, trying not to touch the lion head, and I want to leave the inside of the shield dark uh, just to make the head stand out better. So here's the finished ring and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm just blown away by the detail that can be achieved with the Mini 8K. And you can see under the microscope there's just a tiny bit of a surface imperfection on the ear and that's probably just from some ash residue that was left over in the mold during the burnout uh, from that resin. Uh, but I think a better quality resin should take care of that problem. And one thing that I might try in the future is maybe to print a small piece like this with a key on the back of it to kind of help line things up when soldering. I learned a lot from this one and I'm definitely going to be doing some more projects like this in the future. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.